Hi everybody. I'm hiding back here. I had a labor a labor of love to do. It is a very pretty old fashioned kind of uh, scarf, but I had to do it with a number four. And it was for one of my lovely, lovely nurses who takes such good care of me. Her name is Mary. And that's my mama's name. <laughs> but she takes such good care of me. And you'll see a couple projects on here for a couple of the nurses who do so much for me. But this one, I will link the, the video where I got it from in my description box. However... There is no voice in that video, and their, their instructions are very hard to follow, so there are a few mistakes. I have a feeling I'm going to have to rewrite this pattern because I really do like it for something else. But I'm going to have to rewrite it because it was hard to line everything up according to their instructions and get it even halfway right. So there are some little spots in this one that didn't work out too good but uh labor of love handmade uh handmade definitely you can tell it <laughs> and, but it's really pretty uh had to make the whole weeny bit bigger because it's a size four uh yarn that i'm using so i used a smaller hook in the beginning well, a smaller hook pretty much to route, but a smaller hook with a couple more, a bigger, with a bigger loop, and you can't use a magic, magic ring to do this one. This has to be done old style. So this is old school, very cute, very sweet, and will go on a nice little table for Mary, who likes to decorate everything in yellow, according to her, in her apartment, so... Here's I'm adding to her collection. Um, she doesn't wear yellow, but she loves to decorate in yellow. I hope that you guys think it's cute, even though you can't really see it all in the same shot. Uh, I'm still stuck in the hospital in the bed. So, anyway, until I'm able to do better, this is what I can do. I can be behind the spider web and move it around a little bit. It's kind of hooked up in my IV. But that's okay. Uh, you can see that it has a few shells. It has some webbing. has a little pico stitch at the on the edges up here to make it kind of stick out eh, a wee bit. And, uh, you know, when it lays on a table, it's going to be really cute. And I think because of all the uh, busyness of the pattern, I don't think anybody will really notice the mistakes. Uh, but I'm mm, going to rewrite the pattern probably do a tutorial maybe on how to do whatever I come up with if I come up with something nice uh, anyway I'm going to work on a granny square in a little while but first I think I need to go back to my dog the test pattern from from crystal the crazy the crazy the ha <laughs> yeah yeah sorry rewind crystal the yarny chicken and crazy cat lady. I need to go back to the test pattern because I only have a couple days to finish it. I haven't forgotten about it. I just got sidetracked a little bit by other folks, you know, but sharing the love here and I'll come next. Uh, so anyway, I hope that you guys think the yellow is cute because you're going to be seeing some yellow pops in, uh, in the future because I have a lot of yellow yarn to work with. I need white. I need black. I need rainbow. I need red. I have yellow. Anyway, working with yellow. I uh, love you guys. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your thoughts and thank you for everything. I'll be in your, I'll be watching your videos and I'll be in your lives. You, Yeah, I'm a serial comment. You'll know I'm there. Most likely. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys, and see you later. Bye.